Welcome to section 3, a closer look at Kubernetes master worker node communication. After talking about the individual components of the Kubernetes control plane, this section will cover the network communication aspects of the Kubernetes master and worker nodes instead. Worker node specific components such as the kubelet and the kube proxy will also be covered. In this video, I am going to give you more detail into the networking communication aspects of the cluster. I will show you what happens when the cluster communicates with the master node or nodes from a networking perspective. If you recall from the previous sections, Kubernetes is made of two fundamental parts, a master node and a worker node. When worker nodes try to reach to master nodes, the communication path terminate at the API server. Worker nodes see only a single IP address or endpoint. There is usually a load balancer behind it, but in general the API server is the first point of contact for them. In Kubernetes, none of the other master components are designed to expose remote services. As we have seen earlier during the demonstration, the API server is configured to listen on a secure HTTPS port with one or more forms of client authentication enabled. The nodes are usually provisioned with the public root certificate for the cluster. This allows them to connect securely to the API server along with valid client credentials. We will see how that is configured for the kubelet shortly. The pods running in the cluster that wish to connect to the API server can connect securely to it by leveraging service accounts. When using service accounts, Kubernetes automatically injects the public root certificate and a valid bearer token into the pod when it is instantiated. There is a common service, the Kubernetes service, which is running in all namespaces. The Kubernetes service is configured with a virtual IP address that is redirected to the HTTPS endpoint on the API server by a kube proxy, which we'll cover shortly. As a result, all communication from the cluster to the master nodes is secure by default, which means connections can run over untrusted and/or public networks. 